Hey Beachbody champions. So I was asked um, last week by Joe, thank you so much for asking me, to get on here and just offer some tips to you guys about how to hit Success Club. Um, so my name's Danielle Lichtai. I have been a coach since June of 2014. And ever since June of 2014, I've hit Success Club 10 plus. So that puts me at Success Club 10 the past 30 months in a row. Um, my team and I are ranked number 45, 45, I wish, we're 49 in the company right now, um, and I'm a five-star diamond coach in my first business center and a one-star in my second. So um, that's just a little background about me, but I wanted to jump on here and kind of give you guys some tips on how I have been able to hit Success Club consecutively so many months in a row. And so I've got a few notes, so I'm going to try and be kind of organized here. You're going to see me looking down at my notes, but please ask any questions if you have them. Um, first of all, it's about inviting. Um, inviting is a very, very important thing, and it's one of our vital behaviors, right? So when I first started coaching and my coach said, you need to invite people, that's what I did. And who do you start with inviting? The people close to you, your friends, your family, your warm market. And for me, my warm market, I felt it very easy to, they already knew and trusted me. So it was really easy for me to go and say, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to learn about getting healthier with me and my family. We're trying all these clean eating recipes. We're also going to be doing daily fitness. Um, would there, and we're going to be offering accountability. Is this a group that you might be interested in? And that was my invite process. And um, a lot of times I just sent them a message and I never really, for me, when I was starting Beachbody, it was about promoting health and teaching people how to be healthy. So I always tell people weight loss is a bonus. It's such a perk of this, but we want to really focus on being healthy, um, learning how to be healthy with your family, and being able to teach them this. And so when I, when I went through that invite process, that's always how I invited. And so I was never nervous about asking somebody, do you want to help out with um, a group that's going to allow you to be healthy with you and your family. I was never asking them, hey, would you be interested in losing five or 10 pounds? That wasn't my approach. Um, and so how I felt really comfortable with inviting people was just simply asking them, would you like to join along with me? Um, because we're doing this for our family to get healthy. So first of all is inviting. Second, don't leave people guessing what you are and who you are post. You've got to be doing your daily posts on social media. So pick your social media platform. For me, it's Facebook and I'm kind of dabbling more into Instagram here lately. And then, you know, there's all these other social media platforms out there too. But Facebook is my main, um, my main one that I go through. And what you want to do is you want to offer value on your page. So you want to offer clean eating recipes. You want people to see why would I go to this coach? You know, what do they have to offer them? offer me and if you're posting a clean eating recipe at least once a week and they're following you and they're seeing that recipe and you're they're trying your recipes then they're gonna think your group is going to be something awesome so I always love posting recipes um, second you also want to educate don't leave people guessing what you do as a coach like what what is this what is this coach thing that you do let them know what your groups are about so um, I often like to call this breadcrumbing what we do as coaches so I breadcrumb a lot about my challenge groups um, I talk a lot about the accountability and I talk a lot about what I do as a coach I talk a lot about my fitness guys I post a lot about my fitness um, I don't overkill my Facebook with it I try to do at least one post a day that's going to be beach body related so whether it be talking about my containers um, I've jumped on Facebook live and I've showed people how the containers work and um, how you count them for a meal um, I have done um, post where I have talked about um, workout programs and why I like them um, and how I'm making them fit as um, into my life as a busy mom and I also talk a lot about being a role model because that's kind of my brand as a coach. I want to be a role model um, to my little girl. So I often talk about um, being a role model. So posting, educating through your posts about what you're doing is crucial. Don't leave people guessing what, is, what in the world is this accountability group that she's inviting me to. I haven't seen her even post anything on Facebook because that's what they'll do. <laughs> so make sure that you're posting, you're breadcrumbing a lot about your challenge groups and what you do as a coach about your fitness programs, um, about clean eating. Um, the next thing is I start five new conversations a day. So um, when I start five new conversations a day, um, what I'm typically doing is I am telling people, hey, you know, I really would appreciate your support following me on Facebook because I am um, trying to get into um, helping people and encouraging their families to start 
clean eating. Um, and I'm trying to help people with recipes and I even post um, a couple fitness tips or workouts that you're able to do at home. Um, I would love to have your support. Do you mind following me? So I often will personally message people starting a conversation that way. Um, if I can't find another way to start a conversation, um, for example, if, if I'm looking through the news feed and somebody's posting about um, maybe something that they did that day with their kid at the park for Christmas and it's something local, I may message them, hey, I seen that you did this, um, you took your little girl to such and such at the park the other day for Christmas. Was it fun? I'm thinking about going there. It, your new conversation can be started anyway as long as you are putting yourself out there because what you guys may not know about social media and with Facebook is if you're starting a personal message, your, your um, posts are now going to show up in their newsfeed. So if you're doing my last tip, which is posting value and information, then in that new conversation, they, Facebook says, okay, hey, Danielle and so-and-so are friends. I'm going to start allowing Danielle's posts to show up more in that person's newsfeed because I see that they're creating interactions through personal message and that they're friends. So in my five new conversations, I'm not necessarily inviting them to anything. I'm either asking them for support to follow me or I'm just starting a conversation with them. Um, Chelsea Pearson actually did a national wake-up call not that long ago. That was amazing, guys. She had such a wonderful tip that she said if anybody likes or comments on her post, she will personally message them thanking them and just being very humble and telling them how important that simple task of just hitting like meant to her because it's so hard for us as coaches to put ourselves out there and get out of our comfort zone. And, you know, you just want to let them know, I really appreciate you for doing that. That's starting a new conversation. That's being humble. And that's really letting somebody inside and letting them know how important that was to you. And to me, that builds a lot of trust. I mean, that would mean a lot if somebody sent me a personal message and simply said that. Um, you can even put a call to action on that. You can say, hey, I noticed that you liked my transformation picture. I just wanted to say thank you. That was a really hard picture for me to put out there, but I really hope that it motivated other people. I want you to know that I also run um, these um, online accountability groups, and I help support other people that want to start their journey. So if you ever need or have any questions, please reach out to me. You can always put a call to action to that too. So great tip. Thank you, Chelsea. You're amazing. Um, and then event pages. You can go and create an event page. Not a group, but an event page. An event page is where you can let people know if you're doing a free group, if you're doing a challenge group, and you can get into that event page and you can go live and you can tell your story, your transformation story. You can talk about the containers. You can talk about the fitness programs. You can go ahead and share some of the clean recipes and say, hey, these are the type of recipes that we actually post in our online and accountability groups. Um, you know, it's about not eating bland foods, but teaching you guys that you can really eat yummy, healthy foods and still make it work for not just you, but and your family. So use that event page to kind of be your own personal little outlet. Um, and then, of course, going live on Facebook. Guys, live is awesome. Live is where you can go and you can tell your story. You can tell about your transformation, how you got started. You can sit and explain the container system. I went live the other day because I had people that were questioning their milk supply if they started portion control. I'm a nursing mother. I actually produce an extra bottle a day. I just completed quarter of force after 30 days. I hit my goal. I got my six pack back after 14 weeks of postpartum. I really worked on it, crushed my goals and um, I still produce an extra bottle of milk a day so it's just showing people that these portions it's not about starving yourself it's about cleaning up your diet eating clean and eating the foods that nourish your body and that your body needs so I was able to go on live and explain to them hey I jumped up a calorie bracket I went up to 500 calories um, portion control doesn't mean that you're going to lose your nursing supply so jumping on live and explaining things that people often ask you in personal message as far as questions go live with it you know, don't have, don't always tell your secrets or not your secrets, but you know, don't just always answer that one person because other people may have that same question. So the live feature on Facebook is amazing. Um, and then also make sure that you're doing <clears throat> call out posts. So a call out post is going to be basically saying, you know, for example, Thanksgiving. If you maybe overindulge during Thanksgiving, tell your story. Hey, I overindulged, I messed up, I got off a of track during that time, but I'm not gonna let this stop me. I'm gonna start an online accountability group so this doesn't happen during Christmas. Who wants to join me? 
Um, so we often, I do and my team, often do call out posts where we're sharing a little bit of our story and why we're gonna keep going and why we're doing this and we're inviting other people to do it too. Now what's important is you can't just always post a call out, join my group, join my group, join my group, and you're not doing any kind of breadcrumbing. You have to tell your story. You have to explain to people what you are doing because otherwise you're gonna end up leaving people very confused of what is this challenge group and what does she have to offer? If you're already openly posting and breadcrumbing to people what you have to offer, then there's not gonna be any kind of questions. All right guys, so that's how I have hit Success Club for the last 30 months um, and um, really been pretty successful at getting people started on their health and fitness journey um, and not just with a fitness program, but usually doing the challenge pack where they're getting, fit, um, they're getting that full completion of um, fitness and nutrition with Shakeology. That's how I run all my groups. I think that that is a vital um, part of really getting your results. And I hope that this all helps. Um, I see some people jumping on here live now. If you all have any questions, I will come back into this group later and try to answer them for you. But I hope this was helpful tips. And I'll see you later. Bye.